Good day to everyone. I'm Mam Jovi. This video talks about multimedia and ICT. Multimedia, what does it mean? Let's look into the meaning of the term multi and media. Multi means more than one. And media are the communication outlets or tools used to store and deliver information or data. In short, media are channels of communication. Sa Tagalog, daluyan ng komunikasyon. Okay. Let's look into the meaning of multimedia. Multimedia is the media that new uses numerous forms of information contented and information processing, such as text, audio, graphics, animation, and video interactivity to inform or to entertain. Take note, huh? To inform or entertain the user. Pavidra 2019. According to tutorials point that come, by definition, multimedia is a representation of information in an attractive and interactive manner. Take note again, in an attractive and interactive manner. With the use of a combination of text, audio, video, graphics, and animation. In other terms, multimedia is a digital means of presenting information that combines textual data, audio, visuals, graphics, and information. Examples are email, Yahoo Messenger, video conferencing, and multimedia message service. The term multimedia also refers to the use of electronic media to store and learn about multimedia material. The term rich media refers to interactive multimedia. What is ICT? ICT means Information and Communication Technology. ICT is a diverse set of technological tools and resources used to transmit, store, create, share, or exchange information. Let's look into the term transmit. Information transmission it is the process of sending out process data from one person or place to another in a meaningful form through communication medium. There are two ways on how we transmit data. It could be in ancient method or it could be in modern method. Ancient method of transmitting information encompasses oral or face-to-face -face communication, beating drums, smoke signals, making representation. While modern methods of transmitting information encompasses writing, Printing machine, radio, television, internet, telephone, GSM, or global system for mobile communication. Okay, how about store? Okay, how do we store information? In modern age, information stored in our devices such as mobile phone, laptop, desktop, external drive, USB, and in cloud. Create. So how do we create information? Creating information is dependent on the desired output to generate. For instance, if you will create a video, you may use a mobile device or a camera, as well as a video editing software. If we want to create an infographic, we may use a laptop or desktop or a desktop computer with an installed program. Okay, share, how do we share information? But a lot of media, there are a lot of media sharing sites that permits us to upload photos, video, as well as audio to a website, which can be retrieved from anywhere in the world. It is then possible for us to share that media with the world or just a selected group of friends. 
What are the examples of media sharing sites? We have Facebook, YouTube, and WhatsApp. Components of ICT. The first one is cloud. According to Investopedia.com, cloud computing is the delivery of different services through the internet. These resources include tools and applications like data storage, servers, databases, networking, and software. How about software? What's software? Software is the programs and routines for a computer or the program material for an electronic device which make it run. Hardware refers to the computer's tangible components or delivery system that store and run the written instruction provided by the software. Next, we have transaction. Transaction is an exchange or interaction between people. During the, lock, during the lockdown period or time, the majority of our transactions are conducted online. Communication technology, also known as information technology, refers to all equipment and programs that are used to process and communicate information. A. How about data? What's data? According to webopedia.com, data refers to a distinct pieces of information, usually formatted and stored in a way that it in a way that it is concordant with specific purpose. And lastly, internet access. Internet access is the process of connecting to the internet using personal computers, laptops, or mobile devices by users or enterprises. ICT encompasses both the internet-enabled sphere as well as the mobile one powered by wireless network if this video helps you please like share and subscribe